Hello, this is Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the G68 coordinate rotation command on a VF3 Haas. I'm going to mail a simple square and then show you how to use the G68 command in a program to rotate that square 45 degrees. Let's see how that's done on the machine. All right, so I've drawn up a simple one inch by one inch square in Masticam, and we're going to run a 7 16 end mill around the outside and I wanted you to see the orientation of the part and what tool path to expect on the machine and then let's run this code and then at the machine add the G68 line and rotate the shape 45 degrees so let's take a look at the program that we're going to be running first all right, so here's the code that we posted out of Mastercam, and this is the code that we're going to be running first. And we're going to watch this run on the machine, and you're going to see exactly the same toolpath that we just watched in Mastercam. So let's take a look at that. All right, so this is the exact toolpath that you just watched in Mastercam. I use Mastercam just to give you a visual aid. Obviously, you can write this code by hand. But what we're trying to learn here is how to take this code and then rotate it without having to come up with new coordinates. All right, so there is our standard square shape. So let's take a look and see what it takes to add to G68 and rotate that square. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to take our original square and we want to rotate it in a counterclockwise direction 45 degrees. So in essence we're going to be rotating around the X0, Y0 which is right here in the middle of the square. So this is the G68 line that we're going to be adding into the program. So it will read G68, X0, Y0, R45. So a plus 45 will give us a counterclockwise rotation about x0 y0 which is right in the middle of the part so let's take this line put it in our code and let's watch the machine run it all right so this is the original program that we ran and you can see i have inserted the g68 line right before the line where we call up the work offset and do the initial X and Y approach. So any code after it reads the G68 line will be rotated at 45 degrees. And then you want to make sure that you cancel that G68 rotation with a G69 once you're done with all your machining. So let's load this into the machine and watch it run. Right, I'm milling right over the top of our original shape so you can see we rotated that 45 degrees and that's how simple it is using a one line code to take your original code and rotate your shape So here one more look at the program, the way it appeared in the machine. You can see the G68 line right there and the G69 canceling it. All right, that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And thank you for watching.